Hey y'all, welcome back to Queenie's Kitchen. Today we're gonna be doing some meatballs. So, these are the meatballs that I use. I'm gonna be using some grape jelly and some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. I'm gonna season my meatballs with seasoning oil, some Goya adoba, lemon pepper, nature seasoning and I already have my meatballs in the tray ready to be seasoned so we're gonna start off with seasoning these meatballs and getting them ready to go in the oven I already have my oven preheated on 350 so my oven is ready to go This dish right here is for my wife to take to work with her today because she's having a potluck at work. Just a little. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. them around in here so that the seasoning can get all mixed up in there all right we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven So this is just a little quick thing that I'm doing before I start my Easter dinner, which will be recorded today. All right, so I just threw a little bit of seasonings on them just to get them a little seasoning to them. And now I'm gonna put them in the oven. All right, so next I'm gonna be showing y'all how I get my meatballs ready. My barbecue sauce ready for my meatballs when they come out the oven. Also, let your meatballs cook for like 10, 15 minutes in the oven. Get some more. All right, now how I get the rest of my barbecue sauce out, I just put a little water in there. Put the top back on it and shake it. Get it all out. 
Now, let me get a spoon. barbecue sauce in there. And we're going to be adding the grape jelly in there. Now, depending on you on how sweet and savory you want your barbecue sauce to be, that depends on you. And you just stir. But I'm going to have to get my whiskers. The spoon is not going to work for what I need to do. I'm just stirring it up in there good. Now whatever clunks of jelly you can't get out, once you put it on top of your um, meatballs and put it back in the oven, Jelly will melt. What y'all doing today for Easter? Me? Nothing. Just cooking and relaxing. Ain't nothing to do. kids are grown so <laughs> ain't no Easter baskets to do ain't no Easter egg hunts to do just chilling watching TV and cooking what I like to do best you know a lot of y'all mad upset because y'all can't go to church but had church in your home Get up, turn your gospel music on. All right, so I think I got it. It's the best that I can get it. It smells good. piece of jelly off of there before I close this up. Ain't nothing you can do. I didn't clean, sanitize the house. Only thing I can do is cook and watch TV. seasonings to my um barbecue sauce because I already seasoned my um meatballs you don't want your meatballs to be like your sauce to be salty you want it to be sweet and savory a little sweetness to it all right so here is my spaghetti sauce um not lord bloopers here is my barbecue sauce with my jelly in it so, only thing I'm waiting on now is for the meatballs to finish cooking for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I put this on it. Alright, see you in the next video. Alright guys, so I got my meatballs out of the oven. Now, I'm ready to show you guys how to put barbecue sauce on it. Now, once I put the barbecue sauce on them, I still got to put them in the oven to let the barbecue, barbecue sauce cook on them. Let's see. So, that's my meatballs. Just going to take my little barbecue sauce that I did. Pour, pour some up there. Then we're going to stir.
get this off the side of the bowl so it won't get all over the countertop. Like if you once this once we get out of quarantine, you can fix these like for a little appetizer. Oops. y'all can't wait until this is all over with so you can get back with your family and your friends I got every meatball covered. I turned the oven on. The one I had to put the stuff back in there. All right, y'all. So. I'm going to put these meatballs in the oven, back in the oven, and let them cook for about another 20 minutes. And I'll come back and show you the end of results. Hey, you guys. I'm back. Here are the end of results of the meatballs. They're all done, ready to be wrapped up, and ready to go out the door. Thank you guys for watching Queenie's Kitchen. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and also share and tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Queenie's Kitchen. See you guys in the next video.